Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm just doing a video on oil filter and oil change on the two events. It's T27 D4D. This is a tool of uh, the amount of oil that's needed and the uh, correct torque settings is needed. First of all, if you're doing uh, a complete oil change filter, the lot is 6.7 litres. That's exactly what's needed. If you're just doing an oil change, leaving the oil filter in, it's 5.9 litres. Next thing we're going to be doing, talking about is talk specific specifications. This is what you need to take off the oil filter housing, and it's uh, as you can see, you can buy these in Toyota or you can buy these in any um, parts uh, engine parts places. So you need a 27 millimeter um, socket for that, along with a torque wrench. But, um, you would need obviously these. A ratchet to take it off in the first place. You can also use one of these. I think this is like half inch to uh, reduce to quarter inch. I think it's 10 millimeters and it fits in there perfectly. So you can use a uh, the half inch ratchet when tightening it up. Um, when they're putting back on the the the, 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 the oil filter housing, it's 40 plus 8 newton meters. That's 48 newton meters is exactly what it is. No more, no less. 48. And then when you're when you're putting in the drain plug, there's a drain plug underneath uh, the housing where you can drain it. That's 12.5 newton meters, and you use this, use a 10 mil square socket like this to take that off. And then when you're when you're putting the drain bolt on on the um, on the uh, the drain pan from the uh, from the bottom of the car and the drain the oil out, that's just under 40 newton meters. But what I would say to that is once you once you tighten it up and you just get nice and tight, nothing too extreme. That's enough, that should do the job. And on top of that, if you go too much and you strip the treads, you're gonna have all sorts of trouble. So just tighten it up and just get nice and snug thereafter. That's all you need. So next thing is, on with the job. Okay, this is the drain plug of the, um oil filter so this is the oil filter housing here so this is what i'm taking off here as you can see i'm using that piece i was talking about earlier with an extension on it and i can just pop it in there and i have loosened it so i screwed it off and i'm going to get a bucket underneath it just so, so there's no spillage and that's why i have the plastic underneath so i just dropped it out there perfect job now that's that next thing i'm going to get the um the plastic piece that's in the filter box the one second piece for draining the uh, oil filter that's in the, with the filter that comes in the box this pops in here like so and you push it up and it'll drain in it should drain right in let's see Okay, as we can see, this is it here now, and it, and you can see where it took it out here. Uh, it, go, it, it pops into that hole there, and it removed it removed the old uh, the old seal that was on that was in there. So that's it's a handy job. Removes the seal as well. So just throw it in there. We don't need it. So the next thing is we're going to get this piece off. So okay, so I will put this on here. Now this here can be a 27 mil ratchet on this. You can use a spanner, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, or I use the same thing as I use on the piece above to loosen that, so. And I have it loose. Okay, so as I said earlier, 14 millimeter socket for this, and we undo this one. There you go, that wasn't too bad. And remember, it's just under 40 newton meters to tighten that, so I'm just gonna Put the bucket on me again and drain as I did with everything else. So I get that done. Brilliant job. So the next thing is we're going to do is leave that there and we will come back in one second when this is drained. So clean the bolt, nice and clean, clean the washer. Very important just to give a nice keep things, keep things nice and clean. Put it back on. Now I'm going to clean under the sump where the oil is draining out. And we'll do that now. We have the filter housing and it's nice and clean. That's the way I like it, have it nice and clean before I put back in the um, 
the felt off. Okay, so clean this now, you can see she stopped dripping nice and clean. And there's a few, still a few drips coming out of it. Nothing you'd worry about, so clean her off. Put the nut, nut back on, make sure the washer is on it. That's a perfect job. And we move that oil back out of the way and get me torque wrench. She said about 37 newton meters. Then later, let's move on. Next step now on this is to remove this seal, like so. And I'm using this plastic tool as to do absolutely no damage to anything. That's that off. Okay, so in the new packet, we're gonna have two seals, big one and a small one. We're gonna go and oil this one up now and we're gonna put it back on this here that's the next thing we want to okay, do. As you can see, if the house is nice and clean, getting ready for, to put it back on, we need to put it back exactly where it came off. So remember, to, remember where it came off. None of these. This is the place here. So I'm going to use some some oil. There's new oil I'm going to use in this. You could use the old stuff as well. I suppose you could. I'm going to put some oil in it, like so. Lube it up, and I'm going to put it back onto where it needs to be. <clears throat> Like so, there we go. And that's all nicely lubed up with oil. That's that job. Next thing then, this goes in like so. It's in perfectly. And then this one here goes in here. And then that goes on. Wait, uh, where's the other piece I have? This here, but I'm gonna clean the hub first, so we'll be back. So we'll oil up the seal as well. I just like getting off all the, all the dirty old oil. I just don't like seen it on uh, anything really i'm gonna put the new stuff on i want all stuff off so that fits on there like so and when this goes on we tighten this back on that'll squash that in into its correct position make sure I just give it a hold it in like so so you can see you know, we can see on that there now but that is going in beautifully and yeah, that's it perfect job so we have the two seals in we've one on this we've one on this what i'm going to do is i'm going to Pour some oil into this till I get roughly to the top here. Um, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Here. Okay, all the seals lubed up. There's plenty of oil in the filter housing. And we get it into position now. Tighten it up. Where it needs to be. Very nice. Now tighten it up. And get it up to 40 plus 8, 48 newton meters. So we'll put the thing in here. And we tighten it up. There we go, 48 newton meters. Exactly where it needs to be. No more, no less. So take this out. I have to get this out now next. And this one, 12.5. go 12.5 beautiful stuff that's it <coughs> that's the torque specifications for that and for this okay so as you can see we have five liters of oil in that we just lob that in no messing the bag get us all straight in let's sure, sure, we'll show this when i'm spilling this in i'll just take me time because it can easily overfill the top here of the uh, on the top of the engine here so i just want to get it in where it doesn't spill all over the place because the last thing I want, I hate seeing oil all over the place. And if you're like me, just take your time, get the five liters in, and then get ready to get the rest of it. It's getting nicely there and a nice oil transfusion for the car, and I can guarantee you she'll love it. But anyway, let's we'll come back when we have this one. Liters in, there's one more makes it six. I did fill up the, the filter housing, so we'll throw this in and it should be more or less it. So it's the last bit. Yeah. 
lovely job. Now, I think about the filter, the oil uh, housing, that wouldn't have filled it completely, like, because there's still um, a lot more to be filled up in there. So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna put the, the cap back on, I'm gonna fire off the engine um, and see exactly where it is on the dipstick and we come back. So I'm gonna dip it now for the last time. I'm gonna make, make this video as quick as possible. So I'm just drip it in there. And now we can go there. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Right there at the top. 6.7 litres is what you want from Emp, from Dre. And that's exactly how it's done. There, as quick as as quick as I could do it for you, the video wise, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the notification bell. And thanks for watching my video. Take care.